typically just sell mutual tickets for the customers, betting and cashing the tickets, and live racing and the simulcasts. Okay, so what beat you said you worked here for about six years? What what were you doing before that? I was working at other tracks. But before that, I was working at liquor stores, liquor industry. What made you decide to apply here? I was working at one of the other tracks, and I wanted to be a little bit closer for driving purposes when I was driving. Now my feet, my feet occasionally on a, a, a ride if it's raining. Mm-hmm. Most of the time it's walking. Two and a half hours if I don't stop. If this place closed down, what would you do? Probably have to retire. I'll look for a part-time job in retail. It's still in business. Yeah, there's pretty much mm-hmm. a certain group that come almost every day, although mm-hmm. they're kind of slowing down now in the economy. What would what would happen to this area if the track closed down? Well, the town would lose quite a bit of money mm-hmm. unless they come up with a plan to rescue with the casinos, but I don't see that happening. Yeah. Pretty much most of them, the ones that have been here for a long period of time, they probably, I don't know what they would, what their choices would be. I mean, I've only been here for six years, but Brenda, she's been here for about 20 or so. I'm a mutual clerk, and we take bets on Rainium and simulcast, and we just take the bets. We take them in, and we also pay out. Location, location, location. Um, I was working at Leahy Clinic in Boston and um, years ago in radiation therapy, and I had my children, and then I didn't work for about 10 years, and then I came to work here because my brother-in-law was the judge. He said, why don't you come up to the track? It's a mile away from my house, and um, my children uh, needed me because my husband traveled for his work, so I was a mother who needed to stay at home. So working part-time here, we come in at 12 o'clock. You know, we finished before, we used to finish around 4, 4.30, so it was an ideal job for me to raise a family and still be involved in my children's school while working. I've grown from two cards a week, just working two days a week, to working five days a week now, because now I have had to pay for college tuitions. I've paid for two private college tuitions for both of my daughters, and I have paid for two weddings, so it really has supplemented our income to be able to do these things for our daughters, because I'm still paying on the last wedding. So, um, so it's been a great job because it's close, it's, you know, I, I'm a people person and I enjoy people and I feel that I meet a lot of people here and, it, you know, interact with a lot of people, so, so it's been a great job for me. Well, being 59, um, I would like to see it stay open because, you know, I'm at the, sort of the end of my work time. My husband is already retired, so for me, I don't know. I, I don't know what I would do. I'm, I'm scared. Um, I, I won't say scared. Uh, I will miss it. I don't want it to close. I want to have this job. I prefer to work, um, but if it closes, I don't know. What Sharon, else. what do you do here? Um, actually, I work for the catering department. Um, I'm serving meals, you know. First of all, I'm a creature of cash, but I also I like the people that um, I work with and the customers. We have a lot of elderly, um, and this is like their social life. They're not, you know, huge. You know what the big thing was when I first started here? My son was four years old. I was a single parent, and the hours were terrific. It was 11 to 4, so I was there in the morning to get him off for school, and I had my mother, she could pick him up at the end of the day. Also, the fact that um, they've always been very good about if your child was sick. Um, you know, if you needed time off for school functions or whatever, they were always very, very good about that. So it's terrific for a, um, a mother. I also, I like 
the people that um, I work with and the customers. We have a lot of elderly, um, and this is like their social life. They're not, you know, huge batters or whatever, but they come every day and they're good people. You know, they're really nice people. So I enjoy it. I have a good time working here. I work actually about 32 hours a week, which we consider full time here. The girl who usually works with me on Friday, she lives right down the street from me. And um, another one of the girls, she lives like one street over from me. And both of them are mothers, you know, and they work mother hours. Um, the same kind of thing actually as I started, but you know, 24 years later, it's the same thing. Yeah, you know, so. It's very convenient, for sure. If this place were to be closed down, what would you do? Ugh, I, you know what? I, I can't even imagine because I'm older and it's not easy to be older out in the workforce and also start, you know, having to start over from scratch is like a, a daunting thing, you know, I'm a creature of habit, so uh, I can't imagine, I really can't. So much of the things that they say happen to the dog, they're lies. They do not happen to the dog. All you have to do is listen to the people who work out there with the dogs. And, you know, they bring them treats and they talk about these dogs like they're their kids. You know what I mean? People, and it's their livelihood also. They don't want to harm the dogs any more than, you know, anybody else wants to want the dogs to be harmed.